Hey y'all. Um, so today I am doing something that has been so requested. It's not makeup. Shocker. It's about hair. Uh, if you don't know, I am a hairstylist in North Carolina. And one thing that my clients always ask me is, how can I blow dry my hair at home like you do here? Because typically they say, I wish you could be at my house every morning at 6 o'clock to help me get ready and do my hair. And as much as I would love that, I think, um, it's probably better that I just show you how it's done. Um, a lot of my clients say that the blowouts that I do tend to last them longer than the blowouts that they do at home. And also, um, they tend to have more volume whenever I do it. I don't always use a lot of product unless, well, I use a lot of product on me, but on my clients, I only use maybe um, Moroccan oil treatment. You can get that in the regular and the light. And in this video, I will be using that. So you'll see that. And depending on what type of texture they have, I will use particular product. A lot of times I can just get volume and nice, silky looking hair with a blow dryer and a brush. That's all I use. I really don't like using a lot of hot tools. Um, if I use a blow dryer, I will hardly ever use a hot tool unless they want to be wavy. And sometimes I can create that with a smaller diameter brush and a blow dryer. I don't always have to use a curling iron or curling wand or a flat iron. I, I really don't like using too many tools on clients at one time. I just don't like damaging the hair. Um, so if you'll stay tuned, I will show you how you can create volume and a nice blowout at home. Okay, so one thing I did want to say before I start this video and start showing you how to do an awesome blowout is this morning I woke up and I had an appointment with my girl Alexis and we were going to trim me up on the sides and give me a nice little edge up and do a shadow root which turned pink totally fine the color blood I don't care I'm pretty much go with whatever but I don't have makeup on in this video um, and so this morning when I was getting my kids ready for school with the help of my mom thank God um, I really was not feeling like putting on makeup so I put on like some sweatpants and a t-shirt and rolled with it clean my face rolled with it people went out of the house just like that i'm not hardly ever wearing makeup i mean i do but not all the time so i just wanted to prepare you before i even start this video that you may be shocked but it's okay i'm fine with that okay you guys i am in my salon today i have Brittany in the background getting her hair done and mine is completely pink because we did a shadow root and then alexa shampooed it out and now it's all pink. So we're gonna see how this rolls. And Alexis is sitting over here too, and she's probably gonna be Snapchatting me while I'm doing this. But anyway, clients ask us all the time to do um, lessons with blowouts and how we create our volume. And so, so I'm gonna show you what I use. I use two different round brushes on clients most of the time. Sometimes I only do one. This is a medium round brush. It's a Neuro round brush by Paul Mitchell. And it's pretty good. Also have a hair right there. Good. And then I'm using the bigger one that they have. It's also by Paul Mitchell Neuro. And when my roots are done with lightener, I get a lot of volume because I, my cuticle has blown up and it's huge and it does basically what I want it to. But when I have a little bit of new growth, it doesn't. So today, I'm just gonna use the Big Sexy Hair Blow Dry Volumizing Gel. And people say they like this a lot, so this is that. And, but first I will put on my Moroccan oil. This is not Moroccan oil light. This is Moroccan oil treatment. It retails for around 40 something dollars. We sell a lot of it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in. And throughout the video, I'll probably put in other products. Um, I don't like for my ends to look dry. 
So with my Moroccan oil, I'll like put it at my root and then I'll bring it to my ends. And this stuff right here is something that we just recently started using and I love it. It is the um, laid back from IGK. You can use it in two different ways. You can use it as a defrizzer whenever it's wet and you're blow drying or you can use it dry and it eliminates frizz. Psych, just kidding. It eliminates static. But I do use it whenever the hair is dry and it seems to eliminate the frizz as well. Um, it looks just like this and it retails for around $30, maybe 30 and some change. And all I do with this is um, I spray it on the areas where I feel like it's the most frizzy. So I'll spray it right here. And when I'm doing a client's hair, I spray it throughout while I'm blood drying. So that's that. And now I'm gonna use the blow dry gel for my volume. And dispense it all throughout. Okay, so three basic rules, well, not rules, but when you're trying to get volume, it's on base, off base, and no, it's not on base, off base, away. Either way, you can, the way to get the most volume is you pull the brush and the blow dryer away from the root area and that will give you so much volume. In hair school they called it like on base, off base, half base. Half base, yes, thank you, thank you. Off base giving you the most volume, on base giving you, off base, on base is half base. No it's not. I'm publishing this argument that we're having right now. Well, I don't care because that's wrong. It's on, like, on the base would actually be like this because it'll go. Yeah, on base. That's all, on base. And then off base. Either way, there's three of them, and I'll look it up later, and I might post that down below. I still have my cosmetology notebook. Same. I do, too, and I have, cosme I have two cosmetology books. One that came in my kit, and then the other that I borrowed during my other exams for instructor's license, and I never returned it. Sorry, JCC. She's going to Google it. Either way, you pull it away. I'm going to go ahead and start. And my little boy may walk in in a little bit because I have my mama go get him from school. Okay. I'm going to kind of turn it down. Look, I don't know if they'll be able to hear me. Okay. So what I do with mine and what I do with my clients is I give them a rough dry first. And basically that's just getting the root of the hair dry because if it's soaking wet, you're not really even going to be able to pull the brush through it. Um, and wow, it is so pink. <laughs> it's okay. There was a really big word that you just said. And so I have a lot of clients say that I, they'll say, I have a cowlick in the front of my hair and I can't, my hair has to do whatever. What I always do is I blow dry my hair and my client's hair down and over to each side. Um, because it's not necessarily like fighting your cowlick, but it's really making it lay down. If you are one of those people that will part your hair while it's wet and then you blow dry it that way you're going to have that part Duh. so I always do like this <laughs> did you snap it? yeah turn it on huh? wait I can't hear that's Nolan. That would be Alexis's boyfriend. He's a state trooper. Served in Wayne County where we live. And, <laughs> and he watches my videos. And I think that he secretly likes them. I don't know. Maybe he puts makeup on and does the hair he doesn't have. I don't know. Okay. So... 
now that I have it dry, rub dry, I may need a clip. I don't know. I thought I dropped one earlier when you were doing my hair. It don't matter. Okay, so I will start. Ooh, thanks. So I will put some of it out of my way and I typically start in this area right here and I'll use this smaller one because the length of the hair will wrap around this brush and it'll give it volume. So this is called a concentrator. It concentrates on the area that you're working on. If you don't have the concentrator on there and the blow dryer is just open, it's going to blow dry your hair everywhere. So we use them in the salon to keep the hair um, from blowing everywhere and so that we don't have to fight it basically but when I'm at home I don't keep a concentrator on there because I feel like it's too long I don't know it's up to you so I'll take this and I do it all face so I'm going away from my scalp and up just like that and you can see that it gives me volume right there shot button. Well, some dryers do, some dryers don't. But that's this button right here. And it speeds up the speed of my blow dryer, but it also shoots cold air because it's setting the hair to stay in that particular spot that you want. Think like if your grandma's going to go get a roller set, they will get under, they'll have it rolled and then they'll get under the dryer to set the hair. So it's staying where they want it to and giving them that volume. Same rule applies with the blood dryer. And I will like turn around. I don't even know what the bag looks like, but I'm just gonna go with it. And I really like the Beach Club. It's a texture spray, and um, I really like using this on short hair. And then when I'm doing up styles, and kind of like whenever. So, on my days where I want it to look extremely messy, I use the IGK uh, Down and Out. It's their dirty spray. I'm assuming that it's like their dry shampoo. But whenever I have put it on clients, I feel like it's a little too heavy. Um, but it says that you can start by spraying it on the roots and then work up through the mid lengths to the ends. And for texture, obviously. Um, but I think it's a little too heavy for right at the root area. So when I have like shorter hair clients, I always use this stuff. Okay, and because I don't really need anything else in there, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, I love their hairspray. I'm a faithful addict. If you've read my blog, you've seen that. But this is some hard holding stuff, even though it says it's flexible. It is not flexible. It is straight hard holding, like all day. I use it for up styles.
So here I am with my freshly voluminous blowout styled with pink hair that we had no intention of doing today. You don't ever know what you're going to get whenever you come in here. Well, you do when you're a client, but when you're a stylist, you just kind of wing it. I'm show you back. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, people. I'm trying to make some money off this. Come on. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, people. Share my videos. Thank you.